Hi, it's Eric from My Subscription Addiction, and today I am unboxing the July 2015 Arcade Block. Uh, Arcade Block is part of the Nerd Block uh, line of boxes, including Classic, Horror Block, Comic Block, the Nerd Block Junior line, and Arcade Block. Uh, it's $29.49 shipped to me, so in the United States, that's your price you're going to pay. In this review, you'll find a 10% off your first month coupon in the description. And uh, just a general idea of what we see here, it's a box full of gamer gear collectibles and a new shirt each month. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here's our first look. Looks like we got an Evolve Pop. Looks like I got the Sweep the Leg shirt again. Uh, so let's take a look at the, let's take a closer look at each item. Okay, so this month was a double shirt month. So the first thing is that we got uh, the Sweep the Leg uh, Cobra Commander slash Karate Kid uh, shirt this month. I believe we got that in the classic box in July. Uh, it's a great shirt. Uh, they were set, so it was a double shirt month. One of the shirts was going to be from one of the past blocks that was an arcade block. So that's why we got that one. And we got a Last of Us inspired t-shirt here, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so it's, it's, I like that it's kind of subtle. And people that play The Last of Us will know that that's one of the, I believe it's a clicker. I haven't played it in like a year or so. Um, so really cool shirts here. All right, so we got a pop this month, which is always fun. And the pop this month month was from the Evolve game, a game that I haven't played, but I've heard good things about. Um, so you could have either gotten Goliath, Kraken, Wraith, or Behemoth. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Those are the enemies. Um, you could have gotten Markov, Val, Hank, or Maggie, and we've gotten Markov, uh, which fight the Goliath, Kraken, Wraith, or Behemoth. So always love getting a pop. Even though I haven't played this game, I probably will eventually. And I think it's kind of cheap now, so... Maybe now's the time. We got this exclusive Coin-Op Crush CD, and it's from Nerdcore Legends, DJ Organic, and Mega Ran. So um, these are just arcade-inspired uh, songs, so that's, that's pretty interesting. So in the horror block, we got an exclusive DVD, and in arcade block, we get an exclusive CD. Uh, we get Sonic Worlds Unite Battles, number one comic book. You know, I always love getting comic books. I don't know. I mean, I love Sonic. That's what I grew up on. It was my favorite game. Uh, and it's exclusive Nerdblock variant cover as well. I'm not sure if I'd like a Sonic, Sonic comic. So I'm obviously willing to give it a try, and I will. Uh, another thing to note, it is bagged and boarded, which is great for uh, comic collectors and comic lovers in general. Okay, and these are the last two small items. Uh, on the left, you'll see the Classic Console Cartridge Coasters, uh, which is an exclusive uh, arcade block item. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the one thing I noticed is that they must have not gotten a license because I'm looking at uh, the actual cartridges. They show all four here in the, on the, uh, the card. And <laughs> they use Excite BMX instead of Excite Bike. Either way, though, those are still some cool coasters. And this uh, cut the rope Nami. So that is a um, I believe is that I'm like trying to figure out if this is candy. <laughs> um, it's not candy. So good to note. Do not eat the cut the rope Nami's. Uh, they're just little soft collectibles. Okay, so here are all of the items from the July 2015 arcade block. Um, it's a pretty good box. Uh, I like the new shirt, uh, the Last of Us shirt. I already have this other shirt, but that's really only a detriment to me and people who subscribe to multiple blocks. Um, I'm going to give the Sonic comic a try, and I always love getting a pop, even though I haven't played the game yet. So, and the, the cartridge coasters are pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty good, good month, uh, July for arcade block. The one thing to note is that this box did ship very late this month. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the holdup was, but we just got this today. 
Um, so the July bucks coming in, you know, the second week of August isn't usually normal. It usually comes in the last week of July. So same thing happened with horror blocks. So hopefully they got through their shipping issues. If you want to read more about past boxes, all the reviews are on my subscription addiction.com. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel.